active learning is all over the UVM Learner website and YouTube channel. What does it mean in practical terms? I mean, how does it make a difference to the medical student? So really, I mean, when you look at educational philosophy and pedagogy, adult learners need to really be invested in what they're learning. Not only do they need to be invested in what they're learning, they have to find meaning and value in it, and they have to really be at the center of constructing the information. So there's very little lecturing that happens here for our students. There's time that they spend on their own before they come to class. And when you think of a flipped classroom model, for example. So they spend a lot of time on their own looking at basic information. And then when they join us in the classroom setting, a lot of group activity, a lot of engaging with their peers, and then really working through uh, problems. And it's not completely problem-based learning, but there's problem-based learning, case-based learning, team-based learning, all of these different models where students are not sitting there just as recipients of information, but really they're constructing the information with each other as they're going through the different phases of their learning. So they're getting cases, they're getting problems, and they're working in teams. So when you think about the way these things look, they, they become progressively more complex and progressively more sophisticated in terms of the case that they're engaging with. So some of them, they won't even receive all of the information, for example, that they need, which is typical in a clinical setting. So they will get a, a patient scenario, for example, and there'll be some gaps in that knowledge. So they'll have to identify what those gaps in the knowledge are. They'll have to figure out a way to find it. So they're really, they're, they're working through the information that they would need to have in order to, to, pro, to solve the problem that's in front of them. And that problem's typically, obviously, a, um, a clinical case that they're engaged with.